So this is a rotten bale, which I'm gonna spread in an area you can see the grass is even growing out of it at the moment. So this rotten bale, I'm going to put spread about the place as delicious organic matter for the soil in an area where the horses are treading a lot, trotting a lot. So it's going to be a lot of work. But over here, this track the horses use to get water. So the horses are over there and they come all the way along here to get to the water over there. And as the winter goes on, and I'm going to roll this rotten bale along there, which will give the soil organic matter. But as the winter goes on, the horses get closer and closer this way as I bale graze them across the field. So that is what I'm doing with that rotten bale, is spreading it for the horses to grind into the soil. So, who needs a gym is all I can say. Well, the track is beginning to get its layer of rotten hay in it. This is the bale. And as I go deeper and deeper into it, it gets hotter and hotter. You can see the smoke, look at that. Or steam rather, not smoke, because it's not on fire yet. But it's that rotten that it's getting hotter and hotter to the touch even for my glove. So it was ready to combust almost. So there you go. Hello. Oh, <coughs> sneeze me. Ah, ah, all that dust. You'd think the wind would blow it out of my face. There's loads of dust in here. So a bit more and I'll be done spreading this rotten bale. Isn't that right, Bear? Isn't that right? Yeah, clever pup. Yeah, clever pup. Yeah. Yeah. You're being very patient waiting for me. You're so good. So the winter sun is going down and the bale holder is empty and all this rotten hay is spread all the way along here. One of the reasons I'm doing this, spreading this hay along here, how are you? You good boy. You've been waiting patiently too, haven't you? Uh, one of the reasons why I'm spreading this is because I want to feed the soil all along here because these beech trees they have all reached their full life expectancy and they're all slowly dying and breaking in storms so what I want to do is plant another line of beech trees all the way along here to be a companion beech tree line with that one. So you can see there's already some of them here have lost their tops in storms. And that's because the beech trees have gotten to that age and stage in life where they're falling over. So these would have been planted by my great, 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 great grandfather. And um, so I am continuing the tradition of planting trees on our farm. And this is here for soil food and the horses will chew it into the soil on this path to the water. It's a lovely late afternoon winter light at the moment. Really beautiful. So that is what's happening is in a year or so, I will be planting a line of young beech trees all along here. Hopefully the dogs won't be digging them all up. 
I know, come on, that's rotten hay. It's not good for you, you'll be puking up somewhere. Really, do you have to do that? Do you have to? You're such a pup. Yeah, you're such a pup. Okay, so I'll leave you that beautiful view. <gasps> Look, the rainbow. Glorious. I must be doing something right. Somebody's pleased with my plans of future beech trees. Beautiful rainbow.